of the elements. And we have two. This can be an early luck. Not out yet, but it's on the way. Let us see if we got any today. So we've got a brilliant rose straight away. Some gem knight support. Uh, digit jamming. Melfi Wally. Ravenous Vendred. Exorcista Returnia. Crawler Soma. Proper Gande. Is that a play on propaganda? It is. Very clever. At most distant, deepest depths, and a Morphotronic Telephone. Next up, we have a Venulsilf and the Changing Season. Interesting. Uh, a Sprite Pixies. There's our first Sprite card right there. Telements Metanoise. Metanoise? They're all wet. Uh, a Sprite Smasher. A Venulsilf of the Awakening Forests. We're going to be saying that word a lot today. Let's try and get it right in super rare. Carathorn, the hidden gem of the seafront. A uh, Hydrolander Orbit. Hydrolander, sick. Uh, a Pit Knight Uri. And a Moki Moki Adrift. Is that Moki Moki support? I think so. <laughs> Turlaments Havnis. Turlaments Crime. Turlaments Merrily. That's a nice artwork. Uh, Turlaments Sleek. Every single month of Turlaments. Uh, we have a Ultra Rare. Paces Light of the Goatee. A fish tuna. Kind of cool. Looks like a UFO. Uh, a goatee chain. A Rika Princess. A gadget gamer. And a Mimesis Elephant. No, 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 wait. Not Mimesis. 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 Because Weevil played a card called Mimesis. And I was forced to learn it for a video. I remember. Mimesis. Is it jamming? Elfie Wally. Uh, Vernal Slith. The Flowering Fields. Um, okay, that's interesting artwork. Uh, Crosskeeper, so this is new elemental hero support. Special summon, one elemental hero monster, or one neospatial monster from your hand or graveyard. The gate's effect, it's summoned from the graveyard. Uh, if you special summon elemental hero fusion monster with this card in the graveyard, you can banish this card, draw two cards, place one of those cards in the hand, one deck. It's kind of cool. Uh, we have a sprite jet. In a super rare, that's very shiny. That's uh, quite nice. Sprite, Morphotronic Aphron, Scar of the Vendred, Life Extreme. And Askan, the Bicorn Goatee. Tillaments, Sleek. Tillaments. Yeah, Tillaments. Sprite Splashes. Uh, Melfi Pinny. Sprite Gamma Blurst. Albaz the Ashen. This is the uh, we've got a new Albaz card. Very battle damaged here in Super Rare. Uh, that was cool. You gotta love all the Albaz, Despia, Law, and all their cards. Amaze Attraction, Thrill Train. Askan, the Bicorn Goatee. Vanguard of the Underground Emperor. And a Morphotronic Earfront. Crosskeeper, a branded expulsion. That's that dude right there getting blasted down to earth. Probably this is what happened just before we got Albaz the Ashen there. Uh, Overfusion. That looks awesome. Is that Rainbow Dragon and Neos? That's cool. Um, Sprite Pixies. Ultra Rare. Uh, Vanilla Slith of the Flourishing Hills. I don't know anything about these. Fairy monsters though, so they'll have quite a lot of support. Uh, Kera Thorn, the Hidden Gem of the Seafront, Enoch, Century of the Goatee, Terrors of the Overroot, cool, and Double Dust, Tornado, Twins. Sprite Plixus, Tillaments, Ma puts it mayonnaise then, Metanoise, uh, Tillaments, Havnis, I start working again, Punk Jam Extreme Session, uh, Pit Knight, Early, Most Distant, Deepest Depth, Smoky Milky Drift, Gadget Gamer. So, there we go, we've got a Punk card for our Super. Uh, Tillaments, Crime. Uh, Venusaur of the Flower Buds. Branded in Central Dogmatica. Oh, more lore, more lore. So cool. That's the person that wears the Floridelis armor. Which is another card. Iris, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we got a Classia holding on to her. Allegedly, that was meant to be a Classia, but she's in the same artwork, so it can't be. So, so much lore. I love it. Uh, Sprite Red. So, we've got a board of the Sprite cards. Uh, Grand Tusk Dragon. Double Tusk Tornado Twins. More Trek Scannon. Uh, Nightmare, the Dark Bonder, and a Hydrolander Orbit. Um, I wonder how many of these sprite cards uh, we're going to get today. Because, like, I wonder how much you need. I wonder what, like, a deck core for sprites is. Got a Branded in Central Dogmatica again. Tillaments Havnis, Ice Jade Creation, uh, Versus Myth of the Changing Season. Uh, a Super Rare Vendred Scavenger. New Vendred Monster. Kind of sweet. Uh, Nightmare, the Dark Bonder, Life Extreme, I'm trying to convert her, Amaze Traction. Ride. Another branded in Central Dogmatica, a branded Expulsion, Tillaments Merrily, uh, Melfi Pinny, uh, Therian Empress, Glacia, Reptile, 2100 attack, sick. Uh, Go to Chain, Most Distant Deepest Depths, Mimesis, Enrico Princess, Brilliant Rose, Thorhing Mountains, is that Winnie the Pooh? 
Is that what they're based on? Is that based on um Where does Winnie the Pooh live? Hundred acre wood. Are they based on hundred acre wood stuff? Oh, I don't know. There's a fairy in there. Mm, but there's a rabbit. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Melfi Pinny. Uh, we've got a Rika Konkon. Konkon Shoe Ship Shari Red. Uh, Vanguard of Underworld. Nice. Uh, we've got a Sprite Smashers. Telements Noise. Uh, Vendred. Sprite Gamma Burst. Uh, our first secret rare, which is Goatee of the Deep Beyond. So what are these then? Fish? Uh, it looks like Morpha from Legend of Zelda, so it's like an aqueous sort of creature. It looks cool though. The original attack of this card becomes 500 times the number of banished monsters. Oh, okay. If you summon this during your opponent's turn, you can banish all cards on the field. Woof! So, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. That's our first secret rare. Tenements Havnis, uh, a Sprite Carrot. They're cool. They remind me of a game. I can't remember what it's called again. But it's like a little electric looking thing. And then they made a sequel with like a, a lady electric thing. I can't remember. But it reminds me of that. Uh, oh, another ultra. And it's the Sprite Elf. Link monster, Link 2. Oh, this would be one of the big monsters. Nice. 1400. Uh, Mokey Mokey Adrift. A brilliant Rose. Just love these. Nice! We've got Elemental Hero Spirit of Neos. I was reading a little bit about this card. It seems kind of cool. So when your opponent declares an attack, you can special summon this card in defense. And if you do, then you can add a uh, polymerization or spelling trap that mentions Elemental Hero monsters in the card name. And during the main phase, you can shuffle this card into the deck. And if you do, special summon an Elemental Hero normal monster from your deck. So that could be like Neos himself or one of the small versions if you want to. But um, that's cool. Elemental Hero Spirit of Neos. I guess they've got like the Dark Magician. Uh, I don't think it's called Spirit, but they've got Magician Souls, right? So that's kind of sweet. Uh, Neos version of it. Whoa, Ice Jade Creation Aegicrocasis. Chassis? Cassis? That's a big name. <laughs> uh, Merry Melfi's Melfi Wally of Fusion. Uh, Melfi Staring Contest. Could you outstare that thing? Very cute. <laughs> uh, Scar of the Vendred. Nice. Nice. Another Sprite Carrot. A Sprite Red, Sprite Gamma Burst, a personal fifth of the changing season, Sprite Starter Ultra Rare, special summon a Sprite Monster from your deck, but lose life points equal to its original attack. Also, for this turn, this card resolves. You can't special summon monsters except level rank link twos. Oh, I remember what it does. Doesn't it turn everything into like a link two or a rank two or something? And it negates their effects or something? This looks like a very important card in the deck. Uh, it looks like the starter. So, very good. I'll learn all about them whenever they come to Master Duel. That'll be me. Telements, uh, Suliak, Ran Expulsion, Overfusion, Falling Mountains, Exosister Returning. That's our second one of those. Uh, that was new. Proper Gun. Oh, no, that's the Propaganda Monster. Mm, we've seen a lot of these now. Uh, EN Wave. Is that Marina? Yeah, gross. What does it do? If your Elemental Hero Monster is used as a Materials of Fusion Summon, sent to the graveyard or banished, you can special summon one Neospatial Monster or one Elemental Hero Neos from your deck. If a Neospatial or. Neo Spanish Monster, shove into your deck or extra deck. You can special one Elemental Monster from your graveyard. Eh, seems alright. It's a continuous spell, so. That seems decent enough. EN Wave. Neo Spatian Support. Hey, I'll take it. New, we've got another Vendred Scavenger. Right, red. Of Fusion. Any. Ooh, Gem Knight Lady Rose Diamond. Very cool. One Gem Knight, one Fairy Monster. So you can destroy a card in your opponent's on the field by banishing a Gem Knight monster once per turn. Um, that seems right. What a card effect. That's big. This seems pretty sick. Okay. Protects one of your monsters once each as well, I think. The next pack, we have a EN Engage Neo Space. Uh, that is... Plasma? What is that? Armatile? Who's that monster there? Neos flying into... I think Armatel. Send one Neo Spatial monster and one Elemental Hero monster to the graveyard. Special summon one Neo Spatial monster or one level five or higher Elemental Hero monster from your deck. And if you do, add a polymerization from your deck or your graveyard to your hand. If you special summon Elemental Hero Neos by this effect, it gains a thousand attack. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except fusion monsters. Return you after this effect. Now you'll have to tell me if that's a good card because I have absolutely no idea. Right, next pack. Oh. Nice. Draco Utopian Aura. Trap card. Counter trap. 
When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, negate the activation if you do, destroy that card. Then you can apply the following effect. Banish one monster from your hand, and if you do, special summon the monster that was destroyed and sent to the graveyard by this effect to your field, but its effect is negated. Okay. They've got a Baron de Fleur on the field. They activate this effect to destroy a card. You activate this, uh, you destroy it, and then you banish a card from your hand. And then you special summon Baron de Fleur to your side of the field, but its effect's negated. Eh, seems okay. Uh, I mean, you've, you've taken the Baron, I guess. It's counter trap, can't be like replied to, so interesting. Uh, if it's better than I think it is, let me know in the comments. Uh, that just seems an okay card at the moment. But I guess it's better than just like solemn warning, send your opponent's card to the graveyard. Instead, you actually take it. But it costs you a card in the hand, actually, so um, I don't know. Power Tool Braver Dragon. We've got a new Power Tool monster. Um, okay, cool. All right, I'll take that. So there you go. Another one. The last pack in box one. Um, we are going to get ourselves a Vessel Vernal Sylph Corolla. So what we're we going to get in box number two. So this one should be a lot quicker. Corolla. We got nice. Oh, a new Scareclaw card. Scareclaw Light Heart. So we actually did the reveal for these not too long ago. The actual archetype. They seem cool. Sca Scareclaw anyway. We have ourselves a Tillamence Shririn. Shririn. Nice sword. Looks very awesome. Uh, next pack we have another Punk Monster. Punk Jam Dragon Driver. Some twin looking people in there. That's kind of sweet. I don't know much about Punk. I need to like learn more about their lore. Right next up. Oh we've got an Ultra. We've got a Sprite Elf. We've got two of this, so very nice. That feels like a, a three of kind of uh, card, so happy with that. <laughs> Next pack, we've got ourselves a Scatter Fusion. So this is a new Gem Knight Fusion card. During your main phase, if your opponent controls a monster, you can fusion summon one non-rock Gem Knight monster from your extra deck. What's not a rock Gem Knight? I actually don't know. Is that new one? Not rock? Yeah, she's fairy. She's a fairy, that one. Gem Knight Lady Rose. So next up, we have another Melfi Staring Contest. Cute. One more of those. We've got a playset. Following that. Oh, secret rare. Ultimate Slayer. Is that Opelousa? Nice artwork. It's a little Luke. That is Opelousa. Very nice. Your opponent can activate monster effects in response to this card's activation. Send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. Then target one monster your opponent controls with the same card type. Fusion Synchro exceeds Pendulum or Link. Shuffle it into the deck. So for example of this, uh, let's use the Baron de Fleur again. Your opponent's Baron de Fleur. Activate this. They can't respond with Baron de Fleur because of this card's ability. You send a Synchro monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. Then you shuffle their Baron back into the extra deck. Which, mm, I guess you'd rather have it banished, but still pretty cool. Um, yeah, decent card. I can see that getting played. Yeah, getting rid of some like problematic monsters anyway. I guess fusion, you could probably send something like Entis and maybe you'd get its effects off. So you'd be able to destroy a card as well. So it'd be good at dealing with like fusion decks, but don't quote me on that. Uh, next one we have a Math Mech Circular. A new Math Mech card. Nice. Next up we have another N Engage Neospace. Next up we have a Loris, Lady of Lament. Fair enough, new Lady of Lament card. Uh, they all deal with normal traps, right? Yep. You can target three or six of your normal traps that are banished and are in your graveyard. Place them on the bottom of your deck in any order, then draw one card for every three cards banished. And then it does other stuff. Pretty sweet. Just before we get onto that, can I just note that they're different colours? Like, what's that about? We have got ourselves Ultra Rare Favorite Contact. Awesome. Special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck that mentions a hero monster as material, ignoring its summoning conditions by placing fusion materials mentioned on it to the bottom of the deck in any order from among the cards in your hand, field, graveyard, and all your banished cards. If you placed elemental hero Neos into the deck, neither player can return the monster special summoned by this effect to the extra deck. Okay, that's interesting. So it, you can summon your big Neospatian, uh, like a fusion monster, and it cannot go back into the extra deck, even if you don't have Neos on the field, uh, Neospace on the field. So, yeah. 
spicy, I guess. Spicy. <laughs> Next one. Oh, another Draco Utopian Aura in Secret Rare. Again, tell me. Do we like the look of that card? Next up, we have another Scatter Fusion. Oh my god. I can see it already. Oh no. Oh no. I'm, I, oh. I've done it. We've done it. We've got Oslo the Earth Charmer in... What's it called? Starfoil? Oh man. Uh, I've done this once. I did this with Lightning Storm a long time ago. I didn't know what it was back then. I assume this is... This is... Starfoil. Right? What's this rarity called? What is that? That's, that's really rare, right? Oh no. Uh, that needs to go into a sleeve. That looks really nice. Oh god. I really like the Charmers as well. Uh, this is the worst day to get. This is like the hottest day in the UK. I'm so sweaty. Uh, I do not want to sweat all over this. I'm just going to carefully put that card over there. Because it's probably valuable. Um, I won't know until I check later. But there you go. Um, well done us. <laughs> no way. Um, sweet. I didn't expect to get that. I I've kind of... Because we haven't pulled one in so... We well, we've pulled one, I guess. Pulling two. Can't really complain. Uh, we've got a new monster. We've got a Gem Knight Quartz. We need to move on. We need to move on. Uh, Gem Knight Quartz. Cool looking monster. Very nice. Fairy monster. Fight. Scareclaw Straddle. That is actually a really nice artwork. That's cool. Anything that looks cool? That's it. Right, next up we have another Ultra Rare. We've got a Gigantic Sprite. So this is a big one. Uh, I have definitely seen... This is like the cover monster of the archetype, right? Or something. Uh, this is one you tend to see quite a lot. Neither player can special summon for the rest of this turn except level, rank, link two monsters. Interesting. So if you summon that during your opponent's turn, I don't know if that's possible, but that sounds like an absolute heartache. Uh, next up, we've got ourselves another Gem Knight, Lady Rose Diamond. And next up, we've got ourselves another Scavenger. Then we have a Rika Con Con, again. And then we have another Albaz the Ashen. Awesome. Then we have ourselves the Eka the Flame Buddy. That's a cool name. Flame Buddy. He's in his friend. Nice. We have given ourselves a Sheaf Fairy of the Gothi, which is a new super rare that I don't think we've pulled. Uh, but that was that. One last look. Now you see, the thing is, how much play does Ossa the Earth Channeler actually get? Because that will determine, like, its main value. Not that value is important. I'm very happy to put it. I need to put it in a sleeve. Okay. Guys, thank you for watching. It's been awesome. Uh, Power of the Elements. Bye, everyone.